We're back. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Vlogmas. Sorry that it's been a few days. My, oh, the charger, like my MacBook charger, the wires that like, came apart, the wires came apart. So I haven't been able to edit my videos because my MacBook is dead, but the replacement charger just came in. This is mine. So bringing you a vlog tonight. We're just gonna do like a laid back vlog. I've got a couple of really fun videos. I always say that, a couple of really fun videos. Okay, so anyway, tonight, like you guys know, we go out to eat once a week, and um, tonight was a treat yourself night, and I got a BLT sandwich. Check this sandwich out, you guys. Oh my God, it looks so good. I got a BLT sandwich and like steak fries. Um, and then I um, splurged and I got some fried pickles. Those are like wonton wrapped, like with cheese, like fried pickles. So good, it's my favorite. Anyway, lots of super awesome things coming up. I am so excited. I got most of my Christmas shopping done today um, so that everything is here by like the 18th, 19th, um, because we start celebrating Christmas on the 20th, so I wanna make sure that everything is wrapped and under the tree before then. So I have a gift guide for her, a gift guide for him. You're crazy. So actually maybe I have more so like a gift guide, um, a gift guide for everyone maybe I should do because I didn't like buy like a bunch of like him presents, her presents. I did like a lot of couple gifts. Um, so anyways, I will have like a gift guide for fine. all type of video and then I will have a gift guide showing you guys what I got the kids for Christmas this year. <gasps> all the fun things. Anyways, I'm gonna smash this dinner really quick that and then I am going to straighten up and do a few things and then get you guys caught up with um, what's been going down lately because I've missed you guys. It's been a few days. Now I feel weird like not vlogging every single day. So, all right, time to eat. Like this back? Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, Okay, she got my phone. No. Yes. Oh, no, I should got my phone so I can post that in Facebook too. Are you doing? Here. Don't be a good day. Oh, that's fun. <gasps> awesome. So I just got done eating. I cleaned up terribly. I need to take the garbage out right now, but um, okay. Quick puppy update. The puppies are getting so big. The puppies are getting so big and they're so cute. Look at them. Look, this is the Renty. Oh, isn't she so cute, you guys? Oh, you're the sweetest. Okay, I just wanted to sit down so that I can go through um, some of the fun new things that we're working on right now with you guys. So, typically when Mike and I get home from work, um, lately we've been going over like a business plan. So, Mike is finishing up the last few orders. He's downstairs in the shop working on that right now. So like while we're having dinner, like sitting down after work, we will like run through our business plan. We'll have like a little meeting if you will. Um, so m and Rustics, you guys know, is our custom furniture making business that we own um, and that we run on the side um, of like our regular day jobs. So we are actually um, like transforming m and Rustics. So right now we're transforming m and Rustics more so into like a blog where I not only like share with you guys um, like how we make our furniture and like all of our furniture designs to give you guys ideas, blah, blah, blah. I also want it to be a space where you guys can go um, and like see written posts about some of the things that I share here on YouTube. So we're trying to like merge the two and I'm trying to come up with an idea that works like for like both. So. I have like all of these subtopics or like my bubbles I've been calling them because like my topics are going to be like in bubbles on the top of the blog. So some of the topics that will be on the blog will be um, like food, so like recipes. I want it to be like a foodie place because basically I want this space to be somewhere where I can put all of the things that people ask me about, like whether it be friends or family or you guys. I want it to be a go-to place for you guys to kind of see all of it because M&M Rustics is not just furniture, it's us. It's our brand, it's like what we do as a whole. Um, kind of like, um, kind of like, I guess like the, like a good example would be like Chip and Joanna. They've turned like Magnolia into their own thing that they not only like um, flipped houses and did that thing, but they also turned Magnolia into like, like a home decor brand and they have like the silos and they did all of that stuff. So kind of the same thing. I just want it to be a Mod Podge fun place for you guys to go to get ideas for, for really fun like furniture ideas, like DIYs um, and like renovation ideas sharing things with you no. like how to do your own backsplash. No. Kaya is going nuts right now. What's, what's up? I bet. Oh, be gentle and careful, okay. And I want it to also have like just really good like motherhood inspiration um, for like clothing and for like mom tips and tricks and just just everything. So everything like Eminem Rustics as a whole and like who we are, that that's what this website, this blog is going to be. Um, I'm really excited. We just started the next stage in this process, which is getting, I keep like looking at this full garbage can on the counter. Don't worry guys, I'm gonna clean it as soon as I'm done with this little clip here. But um, I just invited a couple of friends. I wanna have some guest contributors on the blog. Um, because I do have some really cool friends here in the Fargo-Moorhead area uh, where I'm from where I think you guys could really benefit from some of their advice and um, some of their expertise. I'm super, super excited to bring this blog to you guys. Um, it's been a lot of back work um, trying to get it started, a lot of like idea throwing. I have my sister helping me with the web design part of it, like creating the page. <laughs> Woo! Had to sneeze. Anyway, it's been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of hard work. I mean, I can't really say hard work. It's been a lot of like hard idea throwing because as of right now, that's all it's really been is just a bunch of ideas going back and forth to try and create the 
most fun thing possible for you guys. That just sounded super dumb, but anyways. All right, that is in a nutshell um, what I have been working on lately and what Mike and I just got done meeting about. Um, <clears throat> so now it is time to go through the usual. Um, it is 7.43 and it is time to take the garbage out. I am not doing the dishes tonight, um, but I do need to get it a little bit straightened up in here because it's kind of crazy. And then I gotta give the kids a bath and get them to bed because it's cold and flu season and I like to get the kids in bed at a decent time to get good sleep because I feel like that really helps their immune systems um, during this time of year. And um, as you guys can probably tell, I'm feeling much better. Um, today was the first day in like four days that I was actually able to smell and to taste a meal. I this is gonna sound really crazy, but I started getting kind of panicky this morning. Um, I still couldn't like really taste anything or smell anything. You got what? What are you doing, you crazy? But um, my sinus infection was really bad this week, and I had a fever for days. And I have been I had been sick for like three and a half weeks. So it was like due time that I got on antibiotics. I try not to get on antibiotics for sinus infections and like colds, things like that. Like if, if it's a viral infection, antibiotics aren't gonna do any, any good. So I usually just like write it out. But I was not getting better. I got better actually, and then I got worse. I got really, really bad. So um, anyways, I'm starting to feel a lot better. My congestion is going away. I feel like less like my ears have to pop like I've been in, in an airplane um, and my energy is starting to come back. But I need to go to bed early tonight too. I need one more good night's sleep. Last night I slept so hard. I woke up like drenched in sweat. I seriously thought I peed the bed because I was like, oh my God, I'm like soaking wet. TMI, but anyways, but all right. Let's show them you. Have you started your vlog the past few days? Oh. So Riker, as you guys saw in the footage um, on, I think it was Saturday morning, um, Riker took his first few steps this weekend. It's been like super, super exciting, you guys. I, he's, he just turned 10 months old yesterday. So um, yeah, that's like four or five months sooner than Kaya. Kaya didn't start walking until she was closer to 14 months, um, and she really got it down pat once we made our trip to Colorado that year. Um, so she really started walking once we were um, in Garden of the Gods, um, when we went to go visit Mike's sister that Thanksgiving. So Riker, like I said, like four months ahead of schedule from where Kaya was. So that's pretty exciting. Yeah, should we show them really quick? Should we show them? No, I can't have the camera. Can you watch me? I broke it. You broke it? Okay, all right, let's sit down for that. Here. I'm gonna sleep with me. Here, I know, I know, here. Okay, can you walk to mama? Okay, <gasps> come here. Oh, get to, oh, you want to get the camera? Here, let's pull here. He is like not motivated right now. We gotta give him something to get motivated for. Come here, come see mom. No, come here, get him. Hi, come get me. Come on, get him. Come here. Come here. No, 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 no. Come here. That's a no. Oh, can I kiss you? Yes, cute boy. Love you. No way. No way. All right. Well, tonight is bath night. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tonight is bath night. You are so cute. Look at you. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, you are just the sweetest. I love you. I love you. So cute. Okay, tonight's bath night, so I need to hurry up, y'all, and get my stuff together so that I can get these kids in the bath. I need to get the tiny toys off the floor because you want to eat all the tiny toys. There's so many little toys. And Kaya wants to take her vitamins for the night. Laurel, take your vitamins after the bath. So why don't you go put those on the counter, and after we take a bath, then you can have your vitamins. How does that sound? And brush your teeth, and these are get all um, um. And then we will have those after the bath, okay? Okay. All right, I'm serious, go put them back. Hey, don't hit your sister, be nice. Don't hit your sister. 
Be a nice boy. <laughs> time for bath time. You are so cute, but you're grabby tonight. You want your nighttime, Baba? Yeah, I know I've told you guys before, but so we put him in his crib and then he'll have his nighttime Baba. And then we shut off the lights and let him go to bed. It's kind of a weird process. Ever since Riker was little, like he doesn't like really like to be held when he's eating. He likes to just be like left alone to like do his own thing and this is like not focusing on me super great. But yeah, he just like wants to do his own thing. He doesn't want to be touched when he's eating. He doesn't want to be held. Every once in a while I'm able to like get a snuggle in and feed him. Um, but this is his routine and it works really good for him. Yeah, he's crappy. He's like, give me my baba. So this is when I do the nighttime baba run typically is I will go, I'll get his baba um, and then I'll give it to him. He'll finish it up. So right now it is eight o'clock. Typically I will have him in bed with his baba right around 7.30. So then Riker will have his nighttime baba and he'll have that from like 7.45ish to like eight. Like I said, it's eight o'clock. We're running like a little bit behind tonight. But he'll have his nighttime baba, and then he's like usually up, like still kind of squirming around until, oops, until closer to like 8.30, and then he'll lay down and put himself to sleep. So he'll have that nighttime baba from like 7.45, 8.15, he'll finish that up, and then he'll usually put himself to bed right around 8.30. That's why I like to get him into bed right around 7.30, 7.45, is because it takes him like a little while for his like bedtime routine, his process. It's not like this every single night, it's just when we're home, I like to follow this nighttime um, routine because it keeps him sleeping in a better um, sleep pattern. It keeps him sleeping throughout the night unless he's teething or going through a leap or whatever. But um, So that's a routine with him. And then I will let Kaya, um, she's like directly behind the camera right now, she will have a bath. Um, and she'll finish up her bath. She likes to play for a little bit and the bedroom is like, so here's the bedroom. And then right here is the bathroom. So it's really convenient. I can put him to bed and like still let her, and like still let her finish up um, playing and doing her thing. And then I get her jammies on, and then I get her into bed. I'll give her her vitamin and then have her brush her teeth and then we'll put her to bed in her room. Um, we've been trying to wean off the iPad. There was a time where she'd have to have the iPad to go to bed every night. Um, we've been trying to wean her off of that. The kids do have a TV in their bedroom, and once in a while I'll have that on like Blue Planet or something and like put like the sleep timer on the TV. Um, or like let that show run its course and then it automatically shuts off, kids go to sleep. Um, that's actually one of like my biggest tips for getting the kids to go to bed. I know like a lot of people are not like TV people when it comes to night. But I absolutely love putting on Blue Planet or Planet Earth and like David Attenborough who is the narrator has the most amazing calming voice like I know that's what I go to bed to almost every night and helps really like soothe me especially after like a really crazy stressful day in the office um, I'll have that going on in the background um, for myself works super well for kids too to get them to go to bed um, it's like similar to like a sound machine I suppose with like animal noises and like a like a really like it's like calming relaxing narrating voice but Anyway, one of my favorite things to do is to fall asleep to that. But, anywho, all right, I am going to, just got a load of laundry in here as well. The house is a mess, you guys. We've been like in and out for holidays and I finally have my four day weekend coming up at home this weekend. So I have like tons of cleaning and laundry and Christmas present stuff to do. I um, plan on recording almost the entire four days that I'm home. I've got like a get it all done with me coming. I have um, just like typical clean with me. I think actually tomorrow morning I plan on recording my morning routine for you guys um, so I can show you guys my 5 a.m. wake morning routine. Um, and then I'm gonna be wrapping the Christmas gifts and I'm going to be doing the kids gift guide and like the gift guide for 
um, for all because I want to combine like his and hers like parents grandparents everything all in one so anywho all right I'm gonna leave it with mr. Moosey here gonna end the vlog there for today I am still like I said gonna go to bed early tonight so excited to finally get a vlog up for you guys tomorrow morning so like I said we have lots of lots of lots of fun videos coming up in the very near future the next 12 days is going to be insane and I'm super excited to be bringing you guys along with me make sure you subscribe to my channel before you leave so that you don't miss out on any of the other vlogmas videos happy vlogmas happy holidays you guys so excited to be doing vlogmas with you I am so grateful for each and every one of you we've built almost 12,000 of you in the past year and 2019 has been really good to us let's make 2020 an even better one let's build an awesome tribe community on my channel a safe place for mamas and young women to really connect establish some good friendships and to really establish like I just want like a good community of like trust and love and support that's what my channel is all about so again make sure you subscribe to my channel before you leave and I will see you tomorrow for another really fun vlogmas video hey bye you guys I am sweaty I am sweaty still getting over the fever I'm sweaty